<coughs> All right, so we are live for today. Time check tayo is 3 o'clock p.m. sa hapon. Ang ating discussion for today is regarding on the cryptocurrency. For those who are beginners and still study the word of cryptocurrency or the space in the cryptocurrency, ito po ay nababagay po sa inyo. So hopefully, andi dito po tayo para makinig at mag-aral kung paano po ba maging isang trader or investor o bilang isang beginner sa mundo ng cryptocurrency. So before we start, let's have a short introduction. All right, so you know, uh, the cryptocurrency is started with starting on the Bitcoin. Kung remember or familiar kay sa Bitcoin na ito, ito ay nag-start noong 2008 by, ben, <coughs> by the mysterious person named Satoshi Nakamoto. So hindi natin alam kung Japanese ba itong tao na to or kung ano ba yung nationality. So, yung cryptocurrency uh, have a several exchanges of platform, goods, and services, just like a conventional money or trade them for profit, okay? However, unlike conventional money, which is issued and controlled by the government, digital currency are decentralized. So, there is no government or law in inside the cryptocurrency, so walang batas, okay? Then, there is no single entity that controls. This cryptocurrency. So, ito yung medyo maganda sa decentralized. Pero, medyo high risk din. For those who are beginners na hindi po medyo aggressive, kailangan nyo talagang magsimula at pag-aralan yung basic regarding the cryptocurrency. Because the Bitcoin introduction was only the beginning of the influx of myriad of cryptocurrency. Uh, there's some all launch with the aim of replacing Bitcoin. All those car, uh, other currency that came after Bitcoin are today all known are alternative coins or in short is altcoins to Bitcoin. Okay. So that's a uh, medyo ano, medyo mahaba-haba yung ano pag-aaral. Pero pwede, pwede ka nang mag-start. You can start um the trading and investing. You know, today are, they are, over 5,000 cryptocurrencies circulating in the market. So, token, token or coin, NFT masyan, NFT or non-fungible type asset or something. <laughs> yeah, non-fungible token. And more will come up. So, merong mga legit, may scam na token. Kaya ingat din po tayo. Kailangan, kaya kailangan, sundin nyo po yung uh, basic guidelines po sa cryptocurrency. Kung ikaw po ay nag or something na nag-start ka na pero wala ka pa po masyadong knowledge <laughs> regarding the basic. So, after Bitcoin, the second largest popular cryptocurrency is the Ethereum. So, kung gusto nyo makita yung ranking ng cryptocurrency, you can you can go to the CoinMarketCap and the CoinGecko. Ito po yung nagra-ranking sa mga bawat uh, token or coin uh, I think third um, number three is for the number three is BNB and the number four is for the stable coin. So that is except RT yung ano ng nagpapangatlo. Pero dahil nagkaroon siya ng uh, case in the US regarding on the status of his legal legitimacy or legitimization or ng document, ay biglang bumagsak po dahil meron mga nagpull out na takot o yung fear out, missing out, na tinatawag yung common po natin. Then also, yung Ethereum is especially popular because of its product na nagproduce siya ng decentralized DeFi. Ito ay pwede kayo mag, uh, sa mga maliliit na project, ay pwede po pumasok dito at pwede pong maging big time like the Shiba Inu. You know the Shiba Inu? Yung aso. <laughs> na meme, meme token lang siya pero 
uh, dahil kay Dogecoin, uh, si Shiba Token o Shiba Inu ay nagproduce ng almost millionaire, million person na nagkaroon na kumita at naging million, millionaire o sa ating ay billionaire na kasi kapag wala sa millionaire ka sa ibang bansa, dollar ang pinag-uusapan dito. Then, sa Pilipinas, peso, so billion na to. And then also, sila rin po yung nagpaumpisa ng non-fungible tokens and they, the other are copying the NFT setup. Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, before that one, uh, we will discuss uh, regarding the two types of crypto person o yung mga tao, ano ba sila, investor ba sila, o trading. As you learn how to buy, um, buy and sell, this digital asset, you need to differentiate yourself in this kind of <coughs> cryptocurrency trading and what is investing in cryptocurrency. Ano ba yung pinaka-best? Which, which one is better? No matter that, that the difference, uh, in the end of your goal, you need to make a profit or earn profit. Make a money. <laughs> ito, ito lang naman ang pinag-uusapan nito. However, the expected outcome times are quite different. So, meron differentiate dito sa investor and trading. Kung ikaw ay isang investor or cryptocurrency investor, you will buy and hold the, your your token or asset in the long run. <clears throat> Maybe a year or several years pa nga yan. Hindi mo papansin eh kung bumagsak na yan o tumaas. Then, kung kayo naman ay traders, you hold yung position nyo within a week, within a day, or within a second. Nakikita lang kayo ng konti, okay, pangkain nyo sa daily, eh okay na yun. <laughs> yun yung dalawang klase ng cryptocurrency person or holders. Okay, uh, hindi, hindi siya to holders and developers. Okay, so we will uh, proceed in our topic on how this is a beginner guide to currency trading. So for those who are beginners in this space, we would like to introduce 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 these nine nine uh nine guidelines for you for you to have a good uh good and basic or something na para makapag-start kayo ng maayos at hindi kayo ma scam or something matatalo kagad ito ay pinaka importante sa sa pagsisimula ng cryptocurrency or yung pag invest dito Okay, ang una ay uh, you need to do your own research. So, medyo gas-gas, all terms, uh, because this is already stated in all Telegram. So, those who are veterans in the cryptocurrency, they will tell you, I am not a financial advisor. So, do your own research, D-Y-O-R. So, in the crypto market, it's a bus market with a different protocol of trade. So, medyo maraming ano kasi, uh, maraming paraan kung paano ka mag-trade dito. So, therefore, it will be the best if you understood yung market, the market. Kailangan, you have uh, malalim na pag-iisip. Ano-ano ba yung mga market na tatayaan mo, lalagyan mo. Then, syempre, you need to research ang bawat token na ito. Kung pang long term ba sila, pang short term, or scam project ba ito. So, maraming paraan, marami. Pwede kang mag-search in through Google. Then, pwede nyo tingnan, tingnan nyo yung website. And also, may ginawa rin po tayong video regarding on to, ano, how to avoid the scam project. Okay? The next is uh, practice different trading strategies. So, the different market is volatile and it changes daily. daily. <laughs> so, there's no better way to understand the market. So, walang paraan na maganda kundi alamin nyo kung paano ba mag-trading in the same asset. So, you can you can start in the robot trading, something, there's some trading in, uh, there's a website that you can trade free. You can use the virtual money without uh, spending uh, real money for this trading. Yeah, better to research that one. So, dummy account helps with the practice of how 
the actual market operates. There are multiple dummy accounts online for different uh, coin. Ito nga yung tinatawag natin robot. Okay. So, next tayo. Uh, number three is for pick a cryptocurrency and start trading. So, you get you get uh, uh, you get a cryptocurrency token, then you start the trading. You can be an investor or holder on this token, or maybe you can trade in a few seconds or few day, few weeks. So me, I'm a holder as well as a trader. I'm holding a token in the top ten cryptocurrency. So the Bitcoin, Ethereum, the BNB, especially the Crow or the crypto.com i'm holding this one because this is the picture next to the bnb so uh, every month i just add about five thousand pesos in this token so maybe in the year 2023 2024 i become a billionaire <laughs> just claim it <laughs> okay and also you want to trade a currency that will offer you a reasonable return on the long run so there's some if you are holder you can stake it para at least you will earn interest on this one. Parang ang nagpapayram or ng pera or token sa platform na yun. Alright. Number four is diversify your investment. Diversify your investment. As they say in goes, uh, do not pull all your egg into one basket. So ano ibig sabihin dito? Do not do not save uh, do not put your money all your money into this okay or else if the token that you put um that you are betting or trading going down <laughs> your money will going down also you cannot you it's up to you if you want to have a real loss you can withdraw that one but if you want a paper loss, just stick or stay the, the, um, the token on that price. It will going back the money. Uh, we will, the price will totally increase the money. So just wait for the big hype or marketing. Basta, the, your token are legit, not scam. Because if ever the price will down and you know the token is a scam, 0% hindi aakit. All right, huh? Okay, so next, uh, number five, tayo. Uh, don't pull all your saving into trading. So, ito yung sabi ko nga po na wag kang maglalagay ng lahat ng pera mo. So, you put your money, maybe 10% or 50% of your savings, or maybe every month you get a 10% for this one and put in the cryptocurrency investment. So, treat this as investment. Okay, your savings is in your bank, but whatever, there's some emergency, you can pull out your savings in the bank. In the cryptocurrency investment, uh, if there's some emergency and, and the event was your, your token was drop, drop, dropping the price, you will pull out your money in loss. Well, if you are lucky, when the token are in the high price or all-time high, so you can pull out your money if you have any savings. Uh, you know, you're, you're in the income, sorry. All right. Then avoid fear or missing out. Ito yung tinatawag natin FOMO. So avoid this, uh, this, this attitude. So in the trading cryptocurrency has become a global phenomenon in recent times, especially in year 2017. This is what's starting that is spreading in the Philippines also, uh, the Bitcoin. So some other people are not, um, are not trusting, trusting this uh, Bitcoin or the cryptocurrency because they, they are fear that this is a scam or it will be gone as soon the price are dropping. So there's, there are more people that are FOMO on that time. Alright, so almost everyone is trading in trading and there is a human tendency to do what everyone else is doing. So there is a version of trading in the crypto known as day trading, which is more like the you know stock market in traditional 
finance. If you decide to participate in day trading, watch out for the fear of missing out, also known as FOMO. So you will lose some money or huge money when you feel this one. So try to not uh, absorb this, uh, no, this feeling, okay? <laughs> you should avoid this one. Uh, you will uh, you will pressure on this one. Then number seven, keep yourself update to the cryptocurrency. When you are holders or investor, you need to keep yourself to update on your token that you trade or betting for the long for the long term or long holding. If you are not, if you are trader, <laughs> just well, you can you can update yourself also. Because you, this is the signal that you can, if ever there's some more good news or marketing uh, of the token, this is a signal to buy because they will implement the marketing, then it will going up if the marketing is effective. If not, well, it will going down or same scenario. All right, so number eight is learn trading method and staking so this one this is applicable for those who holding or are trading investor this is applicable to you uh you need to learn the trading method and also the staking the staking uh if you're staking your token it will give you an interest income it depends on how many percentage the agreement on that token so me, I'm, yeah, I'm in my several token, uh, I'm holding, I just uh, set for the staking. So, sabi ko naman, eh, hindi ko parang magagalawin to. So, maybe by next year, if I need the money, I will take it out. So, I just uh, set to the staking. So, para every month, it will additional or something na magdadagdag po sa ating token. So, may weather vary man siya, well, kapag tumakyat to yung pricing niya, it will be a huge money. So, yan, ha? So, learn how to trade method and staking. Okay? Okay, so, the final, uh, final guidelines is mistakes do happen. So, cryptocurrency trading is not a get rich quick scene. Okay? takes discipline, practice, and skill to succeed in trading. However, even professional trader at times do mis make mistakes. So, included me. So, I have a um, mistake on that one that uh, the token is already in the all-time high. So, my feeling, I will take a profit on this token because uh, I'm happy with the profit. But my instinct is will going up. So I have a mistake on that one because uh, when some other are pull up their investment, <laughs> it's, it's already so fast, uh, already mabilis yung pagbaksak ng price na yun. So wow, that's a mistake for me. Alright, so yan, uh, opportunity loss on me on the sales or the income. And also the cryptocurrency also are volatile. and risky and trading might result of the loss of capital as such learning skills such as risk management and trading discipline kung you have this two kind of uh two kind of discipline maybe you will win and will become uh rich in this investment in the cryptocurrency well that's all the nine nine guidelines on the beginners as well for those who are lack of knowledge in the cryptocurrency so well um for those who are not yet subscribed in my youtube channel please do want to subscribe and hit the button bell so you can so you will notice that i have a updating video and also live stream on this scenario okay <laughs> so you uh though for those filipino are yet starting on this cryptocurrency be be wise and also uh learn the basic first don't put your all egg or saving 
in this cryptocurrency because you want to have more profit. So, discipline. Kailangan disiplina, guys. Ha? All right, so that's it for today. For hopefully you like this video, huh? If you like this video, well, please subscribe and hit the button down. So be it. Thanks. Bye.